Hello and welcome to Monday's Daily Financial Review. Here's what's making the headlines in the markets today. The dollar-yen pair has traded sideways in the last session. The MACD remains in positive territory. The price of gold has remained as is in the last session. The ATR remains high volatility. Bitcoin has lost 3.6% in the last session. The highs-lows indicator transitioned into the neutral zone. The Aussie dollar pair has remained as is in the last session. The ADX remains in the negative zone. And now let's hear what our chief analyst picked up for us today. Samsung, which is the largest manufacturer of computer chips in the world, as well as one of the biggest users, has said the chip shortage comes amid rising demand for consumer electronics during the pandemic. The promise of the utility of smart contracts and DeFi have supported the view held by some that Ethereum could one day rival Bitcoin prices. U.S. President Joe Biden's massive infrastructure proposal and the upcoming corporate earnings season could offer investors fresh insight on the sustainability of a rally to all-time highs. Those were today's major economic events. And now, moving on to world financial headlines. The U.S. ISM Services PMI will be released at 1400 GMT, the U.S. Market Services PMI at 1345 GMT, the U.S. Market PMI Composite at 1345 GMT. Japan's Jibun Bank Services PMI will be released at 030 GMT, Japan's Labor Cash Earnings at 2330 GMT, Japan's overall household spending at 2330 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.